Hello everybody and welcome to my channel and welcome to another unboxing. <laughs> I had no idea this was coming today so I'm really excited and I also figured I would just show you the I think it's the May Fox and Wit because I just started getting Fox and Wit because I really like their dust jackets etc. So I figured I would show you their May adult book very very quickly at the beginning. There's really not that much to show just kind of some book customization. So let's start with Fox and Wit very quickly. If you don't want to watch Fox and Wit, just skip ahead to Fairy Loot. So Fox and Wit's adult book this month was Angels Before Man, and it is a wild looking cover. <laughs> I don't love like this like original cover, but the underneath is so cool. So there's that. It comes with a book ribbon, which I absolutely love. And then very quickly before I get into what the book looks like, it also came with page overlays. So this is a Song of Achilles page overlay, which is really cool. I have never read Song of Achilles because I didn't like Circe, but it is still potentially on my list of what to read. I don't know. I don't know about that one. So anyway, the other things going on with this book are under the... This is how I'm probably going to keep the book because under the dust jacket, we have that stunning artwork i mean oh my gosh it's just so gorgeous i i love that and then we have the side which is amazing see it's starting to grow on me because this is also a square spine and they're starting to grow on me i think it just is taking me a little bit longer than other people to get used to them and then there's the back and then on the inside we have some gorgeous artwork it's just so pretty. And then we have the signed page and a little author letter. And the back is the same artwork. So I'm just, I'm obsessed with this. I think this is so cool. And like I said, there's a, there is a, a ribbon. So I'm, yeah, I'm very happy with this first Fox and Wit book that I've ever gotten. I love it. And I'm really excited because I'm getting next month, or I guess it is June, but in June, I'm getting both the adult and the young adult books. So I'll probably show those as well in another unboxing. I just don't, it just depends when they come. So I really like this. I thought this had really, really good customizations. Okay, moving to the big ticket item that everybody is here for. This I believe is the Fairy Loot May Young Adult box. I'm so excited because I do, I'm pretty sure I know what the book is because it's this little sneak peek because it is the same book as yeah it's the same book as what Alcrate did this month so I'm really curious to see the difference between the two books because to me Alcrate knocked it out of the park Alcrate's version of the book amazing so I'm really excited to see what they did with it but here's a little better sneak peek we got some fabric stuff in there but we have the spoiler card and it is feuding gods may 2023 so we're gonna get back to that when we talk about spoilers and let's start with the first item so it looks like we have a very very nice tote oh i like the colors of this so much is this the box that's just like greek inspired i think i think it might be a fandom neutral box but that's beautiful i love the artwork and i like that we have some book titles on there we have the odyssey circe song of achilles laura olympus electra reading these backwards is hard prometheus bound percy jackson the star touched queen yeah i'm just gonna do it this way uh the histories the iliad lore never look back plato republic julie berry lovely war poetics by Arist aristotle and ariadne and the back is the same i love this i think this is <laughs> bad part is i don't like a lot of the books on here <laughs> which is really awkward but it's really pretty it's really nicely made you can always expect a really nice canvas tote bag from fairy loot so i'm very happy with this i know a lot of people don't like getting canvas tote bags i love them i use them when i travel so i love this the colors are just beautiful next item something i don't like the feel of Oh, it's one of those things. Okay, I like these. I like these because I keep books and other like trinkets in them. So I'm always a fan of getting these. And this is going to be Ad Astra Per Aspera. I don't know if that's supposed to be a specific book. It just says Roman Canvas bag. So that's really cool. Again, I tend to put like books in here or like um, bookmarks. So I like it. I think it's nice. I Again, another item. It's another fabric item. I like fabric items. 
A lot of people are probably going to get sick of those. I feel like we've gotten a lot of those lately in book boxes. Next item. This feels weird. Oh, this is neat. I don't really know what to do with this. I think it's just artwork, but it's on a um, wooden plaque. And it's just supposed to be Olympus. And this is a gorgeous rendition of Olympus. Oh my goodness, I love the artwork on this. And then on the back, it's postcard from Olympus too. Yeah, I'm keeping this. <laughs> I don't know if you could actually mail this. So that's real, that's gorgeous. I love that artwork, that's really pretty. Next item, I think this is a notebook. Ooh. Okay, so this is going away from Roman Greek mythology and going more towards, I want to say Chinese mythology. I don't want hundred percent know. I don't want to. I don't want to insult any cultures by getting the wrong culture. So yeah, this is just a little line notebook. It's pretty. It's fine. Not my favorite design for a notebook. I feel like they could have done a little bit more, especially with how gorgeous that Olympus item was. This feels a little a little simplistic for what they could have done with it and then our last item i believe yeah because i think they do four items we have a valkyrie helmet pin oh designed by noah designs noah designs is doing a lot right now i love it oh my gosh <laughs> that looks so cool that may be one of my favorite pins that I've ever gotten. Oh my gosh, that looks so amazing. I always expect great things by Noah Designs, but that is so cool. I feel like even people who don't love pins are going to love this design. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Okay, I think that's everything in the box. We went through that super fast. <laughs> I feel like there's just certain items you don't like. If there's, if I, if I, there's no way to like, um, if I don't have to like build anything or really do anything, I feel like these book boxes go by like super fast. Oh, it looks like I accidentally got a spare uh, tarot card. So I was like, do we have three tarot cards? But no, I just got a dual one here. So we have the seven of stars and we have the eight of stars. I do not know these characters. I feel like these are very, they have like older looking clothes i feel like this might be the characters from the book of this box because this is about the right time era i think and they have letters so this might be the characters from the book today but yeah i got a i got a spare one accidentally okay we are down to the book let me get the extras out so we have the author letter yeah see that looks like the girl from the tarot cards and that's a letter so I feel like it's got to be characters from the book. So here's the author letter. If you want to read the author letter, you can pause. Hopefully you can see it well enough to read it. And then we have the fairy scoop, which we'll get to in a minute. And I think that's it. Where's my... Uh... Oh, there we go. I was like, where is my uh, bookmark? I got to have my bookmark. So there's the bookmark. Love it. And let's look at the book. So first... A sneak peek of the edges. It looks like we have some black edges and it looks like the book is white. So that's gonna be really interesting. I'm excited to make, already giving me like, what is it, the Atlas Six? Do they do the white Atlas Six? I don't remember. Someone did like a white Atlas Six and uh, black sprayed edges and it was gorgeous. So very exciting. Let me get this arranged properly. Okay, this way. And here is the book. Okay, you know what? I think I like this better. I feel like a lot of people are not gonna agree with me, but I like this better. <laughs> I love this cover. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I am a huge fan of this. <gasps> oh my gosh, it looks so cool. No God, no war, no one can come between them. Yeah, I'm a really, really big fan of that. I love the artwork on the front of this. I love the black and white with then the sprayed edges. Like, yeah, I'm a really, really big fan of this. So this is a huge win for me. I did not think they were going to beat Alcrate's book. I, I really didn't, but this is like, this is my vibe. This is my style. I love this. So now I have two gorgeous copies of this book because the other one is, is stunning. I do, 
I do really like this one better though. I love the gray and white. It's so cool. Okay, I'm so excited. I feel like this is the most excited I've been about one of their books in a while because I haven't loved the last couple of their editions. So I'm really excited. Or at least their young adult editions. I really liked their adult book that we just got for May. Uh, okay, so we have more stuff going on. Oh my god. I definitely will not be able to read this one without the dust jacket because <laughs> my grubby little fingers are going to make marks on this. So it looks like we have gold foiling. Ooh, that, ooh, look at that. That looks so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, that looks awesome. I love that. Same on the back. Oh, that is just so pretty. And then we have the side and then we have artwork on the inside oh it's so cute it looks like a scrapbook oh my gosh i love this <laughs> i'm really curious to know like uh if people are gonna be more on my side and like this one better but oh my gosh i i feel like they really stepped their game up for this one and then we have the signed page. Ooh, I did not like that crack. We have the signed page and then the back of the book. I think it's the same. Yeah, it's just superimposed. So it's the same, but I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm I'm so happy with this edition of the book. I'm so excited. Okay, so let's talk about what this book is about. When two rival journalists find love through a magical connection, their fate depends on their facing the depths of hell together. After centuries of sleep, the gods are warring again. All 18-year-old Iris Winnow wants to do is hold her family together. With a brother forced to fight on behalf of the gods now missing from the front line and a mother drowning her sorrows, Iris's best bet is winning the colum columnist promotion at the Oath Gazette. But when Iris's letters to her brother fall into the wrong hands, those of the handsome but cold Roman Kit, her rival at the paper, an unlikely magical connection forms. Expelled into the middle of a mystical war, typewriters in tow, can their bond withstand the fight for the fate of mankind and most importantly, love? An epic enemies to lovers fantasy novel filled with hope and heartbreak and the unparalleled power of love. That's actually, is that a different, that sounds like a different synopsis from the Alcray one, which is interesting. But yeah, I'm a big fan of this one. I'm really, 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 really big fan of this one. All right, let's talk about, I guess let's look at the fairy scoop really fast. I do know there's a sequel because I already knew about that. Your edition of Divine Rivals comes with an exclusive redesign cover, a digital author signature, foil on the hardcover, foiled character artwork on the end papers, digitally sprayed edge with block sprayed top and bottom edges. So I am incredibly excited about that. And then we're gonna be talking about next month at the very end. I always almost forget about that, but I'm gonna remember this time. I have it literally in front of my face. Okay, spoilers this month. Canvas basket designed by Blanca Design. Add Astra per Espera canvas basket to store your TBR books or bookish goodies. Ancient Greek tote bag designed by Chatty Nora. Carry your favorite reads with you in this ancient Greek tote bag. Notebook designed by Blanca Design. Inspired by the legend of the elixir of life. I haven't heard of that. Okay, I'm getting a couple different things about it says there's a Greek version of it. There's also a Japanese version of it. So I don't know. I mean, I, I've honestly heard of like the Elixir of Life, but I was curious if they would have a more specific telling us what the design is specifically about. Because I, I thought it was just supposed to be Greek stuff, but that design does not look Greek inspired at all to me. Yeah, there's no way. That's, that does not look like Greek inspired at all. That reminds me a lot of Daughter of the Moon Goddess, the way that that book cover is designed, so... I don't know. That's interesting. Then we have the Valkyrie Helm Pin by No One Designs. We have the wooden postcard designed by Vitkovskaya underscore art. And then our tarot cards of the month are Roman and Iris. So it, are, it is the characters from Divine Rivals. And they're created by Rosalind Arts. Feature book of the month. I already told you kind of what was in there. But the foiled character artwork on the end papers is by Hotch Andraws. Hotch and draws. And the character print on the reverse side is by Pan Prika. So. so let's move on to my favorite and least favorite items. I think my favorite item would have to be that Valkyrie pin. The Valkyrie pin is so cool. I love that. Least favorite item? Uh, I don't know because I like I like everything that was in here. I like everything in here. Use-wise, probably the wooden postcard, but I love the art, so I feel like I can't say that. I also would use the notebook, but I don't like the artwork as much on that one, just because I think they could have done something a little bit more cool. 
So I think I'm gonna have to, I guess I'll go with the canvas basket because I like canvas baskets, but I feel like I'm gonna get the least amount of use from it because I'm gonna use the notebook. And the design on it is just okay. It's it's more generic than the other things. So that's kind of my idea about what my favorite and least favorite. But overall, I actually really liked this box. Okay, let's talk about next month. So this is the artwork for next month. We got a mermaid. It looks like the little mermaid and Eric, <laughs> which makes sense. It is from the depths. And in this box, you can expect items inspired by Daughter of the Pirate King, The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea, The Adventures of Amina Al Sarafi, and two fandom neutral items. Thrilled to reveal that we have worked with, oh my gosh, M Michaela, oh, I can never say the name, Michaela Elcano Design. This is the artist that did a bunch of the artwork for Fairy Lou, and like this, the additions that this artist does are stunning. So I'm really excited about that. Featured book of the month is a dark and seductive young adult fantasy where a siren must choose between protecting her family and following her heart in a prejudiced kingdom where her existence is illegal. Oh, I know what the book is. It was in my... um. Oh, that's so cool. It was in my June books coming out. That's really, really exciting that I know off the top of my head what the book is. <laughs> the exclusive edition will have an exclusive cover, digital sprayed edges on all three edges, character artwork on the end papers by Jay Hoka, a full color foil design on the hardcover by Blanca Design, and we'll have a digital signature. Come with a letter from the author. And it looks, the edition looks like the C in a book form, and we love it. Okay, I'm really excited. I'm really excited, especially because I like knew what the book was right away. That's really exciting. Okay, that's everything that I got for you for this unboxing. Very exciting. Love it. Had a great time. I seriously, guys, I love the book. I, I, I really hope other people like it too. I know people can be very picky about what they like, but it's so pretty. <laughs> so pretty guys so I'm very happy with that I really like the sprayed edges so I'm, I'm I'm living I'm living laughing loving whatever it is they say <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy that makes you subscribe for more unboxings and content make sure you like the video if you enjoyed this unboxing and make sure you comment down below what you thought about the box what you thought about the book if you're excited for next month and what you want to see fairly do in the future so very excited very very excited and I'll see you guys in the next video